Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be trying new makeup I picked up recently. So it's gonna be a haul, but a try-on haul. We have the new Hourglass Foundation, the Huda Concealer, and some more things as well. So I hope you're excited. These are so much fun to film and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I've already done my skincare and I did not apply any primer, no flawless filter or the e.l.f. halo glow or anything like that. We're just gonna skip primer today since we're trying a bunch of new complexion products. So the first thing we're gonna use is this. So this is by the brand EXA. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or if they go by EXA or just EXA I'm not sure but it's the high fidelity color corrector and I've actually already tried this I couldn't help myself I just had to try it I tried it for an Instagram video so I have tried this before but not on YouTube so I got this at Ulta I think this is one of their newer clean brands I think but this is the shade peach and I kind of noticed this brand on Ulta's website, but I've just never tried anything. So we're going to use this today. It has a doe foot applicator like this. And the color on this is really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this. It spreads quite a bit, so you really don't need a lot of product at all. And then I'm just going to use this Real Techniques shadow brush, the base shadow brush, to kind of blend this out. Also, I'm sure I look tan or tanner in or on this video because I just a few hours ago applied self-tanner, so I haven't even rinsed it off yet, so if I look darker, that's why. I also used yesterday when I did skincare, I used the Isle of Paradise tanning drops on my face. I use them in the shade medium, so I have a little more color on my face too than I normally do. But I, like I said, I've already tried this corrector and I love it. You'll see once I get this blended out, it does such a great job at correcting my darkness. I loved it from the first time I tried it. Consistency is really nice. It's really good. The consistency kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector. I actually think they quit making that product. Consistency reminds me of that. Maybe just like slightly thicker, but it's very similar. I like this one better though. See how much that helped brighten under my eyes and we haven't even put concealer on. So I'm really excited about this corrector. I have, this is the only thing I've tried from this brand, but I think they make a whole line or range of products. So I'm excited to try more, but so far really, really impressed with this. For foundation, I did it, you guys. I bought it, okay? <laughs> the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Said I wasn't gonna buy this, but I couldn't get it off my mind. So I caved and I bought it. So this is what it looks like. I just got this yesterday. I have not used it yet. This is what it looks like. So Hourglass has their stick foundation, which I have tried in the past. It was okay, I didn't love that one. And then they had a another liquid foundation. I'm not sure if they even make it, but I think it was called the Airbrush Flawless or something. No, that's Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know, I can't remember, but there was another foundation from Hourglass that I feel like a lot of people did not love. I was really excited to see them coming out with something new. And I also did get the, Finally got it. I had trouble getting it out, but this is the brush 
they came out with to go with the foundation. Pretty small compared to, I mean, not super small, I guess, but like this is it compared to my Smashbox brush I use a lot. This one's just a little bit different in terms of the shape and it's more dense. But I've never tried hourglass brushes before and I just decided to try it. Here is the foundation bottle. It's really pretty. I got the shade 6.5 light medium neutral I think is what it is. I got a shade a little bit darker than what I would normally get since I knew I was going to have self tanner on and I find most of my foundations I have are kind of on the light side for me so they work a little bit better if I don't have any color at all. So I got this one because it's just a little bit darker. One thing I did want to say that I noticed when I was swatching playing around with the shades of this, the warm shades are extremely warm. Like very, 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 very yellow golden undertones. So I a lot of times go for a warm undertone, but they were way too warm for me. So that's why I went with neutral. Just an FYI, if you're unsure, they definitely run very yellow. So there is 6.5 neutral. So even to me, that looks kind of warm. And this is supposed to be a neutral shade. Let's try it out. Yeah. I mean, that's warm to me. So just think of how warm the warm shades were. <laughs> they were very, very yellow. So I'm just gonna tap this on. I did about like a pump and a half on my hand. I'm gonna blend some down my neck just to make sure everything matches. And then we'll go in and blend. This brush kind of reminds me of the BK Beauty 101 brush, if you're familiar with that one. It's just a smaller version of that brush. It has that kind of angled tip to it. I'll see if I can find mine in a minute. That's what this brush kind of reminds me of. It's good if you are someone that likes to build up coverage on your foundations. Anything that's like this angled, more dense type of brush is going to help build up your coverage. And I actually think this is a good match for me when I have self tan on. But you can see it's definitely a warm shade even though this is supposedly neutral. All right, so here is the 101 I was talking about from BK Beauty. So see how they're that similar shape? The hourglass one is just smaller, but kind of reminds me of that. This one from Hourglass, I will say, is really good because it's small enough that you can really get in hard to reach areas, particularly around your nose. I always have issues with that. When I use a larger foundation brush, it can be kind of hard to get in those areas. So my initial thought on this is, you know what it reminds me of? The NARS light reflecting, but just a hair more coverage initially. I would say this one is like a true medium coverage, whereas the NARS, if you don't build it up, I would say it's like a light medium. But the finish really reminds me of the NARS. This is what I wanted so badly from the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, or no, not Airbrush Flawless, Beautiful Skin Foundation. I wanted it to look like this. It has glow, but it's not like Tin Man kind of glow. The Charlotte Tilbury alone on me just, I mean, it's like metallic almost. It's so glowy. This is what I wanted from that. It's very pretty. I do think for a glowier foundation, it's not really emphasizing pores like right here in this area. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but sometimes with foundations like this or with formulas like this, you run into that. The glowier it is, the more texture it kind of highlights, but I'm not really noticing that. 
with this. So the trick will be, does this wear well? Because Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin looks okay initially. It's just very, very glowy, but it, on me, it does not wear well. It does not wear well at all. After like an hour or two, it really does not look good on me. So we'll be excited to see how this one does. If you are typically the same shade as me, when I don't have any self tanner on, I would probably go with shade five, which was light neutral. This was light medium neutral. So one shade down would have been five with the same undertone, just FYI. For concealer, I know a few of you wanted me to try the new Huda Beauty one. This is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. It's kind of interesting, luminous matte. I never think of something as matte being luminous. So again, I this is why I like to go in store to see products if possible because I would not have gotten the shade that I got online if I had ordered it. Same with this Hourglass foundation. I would have gotten one of the warm shades for sure until I went in store and saw how yellow they were. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. I kind of like this packaging cute it's just like a small little glass or not glass but it's a like frosted tube it says faux filter concealer on the back and this one is shade sugar biscuit 3.5 neutral I also had the same thought on this concealer as well when I looked at the warm shades I thought <laughs> They looked extremely warm. The, even the neutral shades look kind of warm. So that is the shade Sugar Biscuit. It says 14 hour crease proof, blendable and buildable, water sweat transfer proof. I'm just gonna start with one eye because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. See, to me, again, this is a neutral shade and it looks very warm to me. I don't know. I feel like that happens a lot with makeup. I'm gonna use my Reliable Sigma brush. A little bit definitely spreads a long way. The color looks pretty good with this foundation. I feel like a concealer might be a little bit dark with some of my other foundations, but with this one, I feel like it's okay. Okay, so this side has the corrector and the concealer, and then this side just has corrector. Definitely, I would agree more of a matte finish, which is what it says online. I don't know why it's called luminous matte though, because it doesn't look super luminous to me. It definitely looks more matte, but it doesn't look like a dry matte. So we will see how it wears. I'm not gonna put any powder on it or anything. I'm just gonna leave it and see how it works or how it sets down. So I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing on this eye. I will say the consistency is not as thick as I was thinking it was gonna be. Typically when you see something is matte and it claims to be like a fuller coverage, it's what I initially think of as shape tape, but this is definitely much easier to blend out than that. It's thicker, but not super thick for a concealer. Tell me what you think. Initially, I think it looks good, pretty good. But like I said, I wanna see how it kind of sets down, so I'm gonna leave it for now and not set it with powder or anything. For bronzer, I finally got the Sun Melt from Say Beauty. This is the natural cream bronzer. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, but the light and the medium shades were sold out for a while. I think I actually tried to buy this during the last Sephora sale and the lighter shades were out of stock. I did get light bronze, and now that I have this color on, I'm thinking light bronze might be too light this but I don't know what well, we'll just try it because obviously I don't always have this color so this is what it looks like I just hear such great things about this I'm really excited to try it Ooh, it looks so pretty and perfect I really don't want to mess with <laughs> I really don't want to mess it up 
Ooh. Okay, it's a very thin, almost like an oily consistency. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be too light for right now because you can't even, I mean, you can kind of see it. I guess I'll use it anyway, just to try it. I'm gonna use this Morphe A58 from the REL collab. It's a very thin formula, like extremely thin. Actually, you can still kind of see that, can't you? Oh yeah, you can. Looks a little more natural with this color foundation, but you can see it. Okay, yeah, this is, I'm trying to think of something to compare this to. It's not like the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. It's not like the Chanel. Those ones are just a, ooh, this is pretty actually. I was thinking this was not gonna work, but ooh, okay, I like this a lot. It's not like the Charlotte Tilbury. It's not like the Chanel. Those are those like thicker cream consistencies. This is like a thin balm almost. What do they call it? Do they call this a balm? Sun Melt. Okay, natural cream bronzer. Yeah, I can totally see where the name comes from because it's so thin. Ooh, I, this is really pretty. I'm trying to think of what else I have that, oh, you know what this is similar to? The Makeup by Mario, the new one, the Skin Enhancer. Gosh, now I can't think of the name of it. I don't think I have it out here, but you know what I'm talking about, the new cream bronzer product. It's a really thin formula like that. In fact, it really reminds me of that actually. I have shade light medium in the Makeup by Mario. That one is definitely a little more cool toned than this one. This one is a little warmer. I'm gonna take a little bit on the sides of my nose. Then I'm gonna take some on my jawline. Let me know if you've tried this. I feel like this has kind of been all over the place lately. So when I saw it in stock at my Sephora, I was just, I was curious. Let's do a concealer check-in. It still looks good, you guys, and there is no powder Definitely looks like it's set down for sure, but it's not like cracking or anything weird. I'm always kind of hesitant with matte products just because sometimes they don't dry down the best to me, but so far this one looks good. For blush, also from Say, I finally got one of their blushes. This is the Dew Blush in the shade Rosy. I feel like these have also been all over everything and I always really wanted one I could never decide what color and then I swatched rosy and I loved it really curious to see how this compares to the rare beauty blushes so cute that color so good it's a pink with a little bit of a peachy undertone okay so the question is do I apply this directly to my face or not. Maybe we'll do like half and half. I'm just gonna start with that because I have no idea how pigmented these are supposed to be. Oh my. Okay, definitely I would say not quite as pigmented as the Rare Beauty blushes, but the finish is similar on the dewy Rare Beauty blushes. Ooh, that color though. I like how that blended out with that Morphe brush, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cause I definitely feel like with Rare Beauty, the amount of product I put on just now would have been too much. But it's definitely very, very easily blended with this one. Ooh, yes, that is my color, you guys. Ooh, I love it. Wow, I look super bronzed right now. Okay, let me look. 
up close, but holy moly, that color of that blush is so pretty. I have a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put what's left over the bridge of my nose. Let's look one more time. Obviously I look very shiny because we have no powder on yet, but not gonna lie you guys, my face, my base looks really good, honestly. Under eyes, foundation, bronzer, blush, it looks really good. Okay, I'm thinking for powder, I'm gonna use the Kosas powder. I've been really going in with my bite powder since it's in my project pan. I haven't been using this one as much, but I'm kind of in the mood to use this today. So I'm gonna, okay. Gosh, I hope you, I hope that showed up on camera. I literally just touched my cheek right there and it immediately took away the pores there. The pores that were there that I was noticing. Like this powder you guys is so good maybe it's just because i haven't been using it it kind of astounded me just now maybe you can see it a little bit better on the other side this is sh the shade breezy by the way so watch like right here in this area i mean do you see that or is it just me I mean, wow, what a wonder that powder just did. I mean, I knew that I liked this, but holy moly. So I'm just kind of going in the center of my face and then I'm gonna kind of tap up under my blush and bronzer. But I'm not going under my eyes or on the tops of my cheekbones because I really want to keep the glow there. That's it for complexion type products so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and then we'll move on to the eyes I have one new eye product a new mascara and a new lip product also so I will be right back and we'll move on to the eyes so I did my eyebrows and I put a little bit of MAC painterly paint pot on my eyes the eye product we're gonna use is new from Charlotte Tilbury but I have to confess I've already tried this I couldn't stand it, but it's one of the new Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. So she came out with three new shades and they are a little more luminous shades. They have a lot more of a shine, more of like a glitter to them. So I got the shade Exagger Eyes. So they're in the same packaging as the original Eyes to Mesmerize, which I have two of those. And I honestly don't use mine a ton, but this one I have a feeling I'm definitely gonna use. So I'll swatch it for you, but this color is kind of like a warm, and my hand has tons of product on it, but it's kind of a warm bronze. Kind of a light tan bronze, I would say, with some shimmer in it. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better on my eyes, but like I said, I've already used this and I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna use this with this little Morphe JH35. It's one of the Jaclyn Hill brushes. And I'm gonna start applying this on the lid and then kind of buff it upward. And I'm not using a whole lot because a little definitely spreads. And just a little bit more. So obviously the more intense you want it, the more you would add, but the color on this is literal perfection to me. It looks even prettier too, like out in daylight you can really see the sparkle and the shimmer in the color i think she has two other ones one of them i think is kind of a coppery gold color and then i think the third one has kind of like a duochrome type shade i want to say it's like gold with kind of a pinky shift to it but this is the obviously the only one I have, so I don't know what those look like in person. But I 
can already tell this is going to be a new favorite for me. How pretty is that color? Mm, I love it. I went a little crazy on this side, so I'm going to kind of use my finger and kind of tap the edge of it. But oh my gosh, these are this color is stunning. All right, before we move on to mascara, I'm not gonna do anything else on the eyes other than I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Powder Pencil in brown. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to my outer corner and then we'll move on to some mascara. So I'm just kind of drawing it and then I'm just gonna take a small little angled brush and just kind of drag it out a little just for like a super super soft wing all right you guys I was gonna try out a new mascara and then I changed my mind I'm trying to use up some of the ones I already have open so I'm gonna save the new mascara but we do have some new lip things this is the Kosas lip set so this has one of their new hot liner lip liners a lip oil and their new lip collagen booster i got this set in store at sephora and i went online looking for it and i did not see it online so i don't know if this is not available anymore or maybe i just missed it i don't know but i really wanted to try the new lip liners you know me and lip liner so you get the full size hot liner lip liner the full size lip oil and then a deluxe size of the new lip collagen booster what color is this i think this is mega yeah so this is the shade mega in the lip liner so it's kind of a thicker tip lip liner I'll swatch it for you. There's shade Mega. It's just kind of a deeper rosy nude. Let's try this out. The swatch definitely was a bit drier. So I'm thinking this is going to be one of those kind of a MAC type lip liner or a NYX lip liner, the original lip liners. I do have um, a fever blister right in the middle of my mouth right now. So I'm kind of trying to just go around it. Yeah, so it's definitely a drier formula. Definitely not a super pigmented lip liner. I did have some lip balm on earlier, but I thought I had gotten most of it off. I just, I feel like a, not a whole lot of pigment is coming off. Yeah, the color is very pretty. I don't know. Maybe I just needed to warm it up. I kind of warmed it up on the back of my arm. The color is really pretty, but it's a little difficult to apply. I don't know. I have to play around with that a bit more. And I really wanted to try this collagen lip plumper, but I also really want to use this. I feel like you're not going to be able to see the two things, so maybe I'll save this well yeah this says lip treatment gloss maybe i'll do this first actually since i have the fever blister i'm not gonna put my mouth on this that feels good it's very glossy as you can see kind of reminds me of the tatcha kisu lip mask if you've ever used that one that's in the pot it kind of feels like that one and then I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this gloss. This is the shade Unzipped. And just adding a little bit. That one's kind of a light, milkier pink with some shimmer in it. Very pretty. I'll have to let you know about the lip liner. I need to play around with it a little bit more. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this trying new makeup video. I wanted to quickly kind of go through everything and my thoughts so number one the color corrector I love like I said earlier I have used it probably 
three or four times now and I love it. I actually even like it on its own with no concealer over it. It works that well if you just apply just a tiny bit. So if you have blue purple tones under your eyes like I do, that is a really good corrector from EXA foundation. You guys, I'm not going to lie. My foundation looks really good. My face looks luminous. I might need a little more powder like in this area, but I mean, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, this is first impression on the foundation, so I don't know how it's going to wear. I'm hoping this wears well throughout the day. I'm probably not going to be able to come back and show you, but I will take note tonight when I take this off and I'll put it in the description box when this video goes up. So far though, I'm very impressed. And obviously if I am not self tanned, this color will be a little bit dark, but I'm kind of very much into self tan right now. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be using it very frequently. It's a pretty good match for me with the tan on. Um, the concealer, okay, you guys, I don't know. I hope you can see no powder, no nothing. And this concealer so far has not creased. It is not settling weird under my eyes. It looks very smooth. And I can see the luminous quality a little bit. It's weird. It's set down. Like you can tell that it has set, but it still has like a little bit of that luminous look to it. It's very interesting, but I like it so far. Gotta try it out again. I mean, I think the coverage is pretty good. I don't know how it would be if I didn't have corrector on underneath it, which I never do that. I always put corrector underneath, but so far looks pretty freaking good. So does the bronzer and the blush. Those, I can already tell these two are gonna be new favorites from Say. This bronzer, now I know why everyone's been talking about this. It's so easy to apply. Very, very easy to apply. I will say, like I said earlier, if you have the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, let me just grab it real quick. Okay, so the Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer, the texture is very similar to this but you can see this one is a little more of a cool undertone this one is warmer so I'll kind of show them side by side so this is the say one in light bronze and this is light medium in the makeup by Mario texture is very similar though so if you have this one already you probably don't need the say one but y'all know me I'm I like the options and I just really wanted to try this. The blush, oh my gosh, I love that color. Rosy is the color that I have and oh my gosh, that is the kind of color that I like. I love a pinky peach. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, but not too much. So good, very easy to blend out too, so. Those are all wins, and you guys, look at the eyes to mesmerize. I mean, look at that. And honestly, it, on the camera, it doesn't do it justice. You really need to see it like out in direct sunlight. I wore it a few days ago, and it is so pretty. If you like that luminous eye look, like a one-and-done shadow, this might be your new favorite thing. And let's see, other than that, the lips... I like it. I'm not quite sure about this lip liner. I mean, I love the color of it. I just don't, the formula is a little bit weird to me. So I don't know, maybe I need to like keep using it, kind of break it in. I don't know, but it was a little bit dry on me. The gloss is pretty. The lip treatment's also pretty. I don't know, I'll have to keep trying it and let you know what I think. But yeah, those are my thoughts on these things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. These are so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel get seen by more people. And I will list and link everything below as always. They are affiliate links, so if you shop through them, I do make a small commission. So thank you, thank you ahead of time if you do choose to do that. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you.
बाय